Hey everybody, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. We're constantly updating it with new content and never seen before content. So if you want to get the latest from Harvest, hit the subscribe button. Hey everybody, Greg Laurie with some thoughts about election. Not the election, as in political, but as in election of who gets chosen to be a Christian, also known as predestination. So what does the Bible teach on this subject? Here's the reality. Election, also known as predestination, is taught in the Bible. The Bible tells us that before the foundations of the world, God chose us and ordained us that we should bring forth spiritual fruit. But the Bible also speaks of free will. In other words, we choose to follow Jesus Christ. Uh, whosoever will, let him come, the Bible says. Jesus said, for God so loved the world, he gave his only begotten son, and whosoever believes in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. So sometimes people will ask the question, how do you reconcile predestination and free will? Answer, I don't. You don't have to reconcile friends. Both truths are taught in the pages of the Bible. As a matter of fact, sometimes they're taught side by side. So here's my job. My job is to tell people there's a God in heaven who loves them. To tell them that they can put their faith in Christ and be forgiven of all of their sin. Some might say, well, what if you preach to the non-elect? You know, as D.L. Moody, the great evangelist, once said, Lord, save the elect and then elect some more. I look at it this way. Let's say you're walking down the street and there's a door and on the outside of the door, these words are written. Whosoever will, let him come. You think about it. You contemplate it. Months go by, years go by. You look at that door with that invitation. Whosoever will, let him come. One day you decide, I'm walking in that door and you put your faith in Christ. You get in the other side, you close the door and on the back of it is written, chosen in Christ from the foundation of the world. Listen, my job again is to just tell as many people as I can about Jesus Christ. I'll be doing that at the Harvest Crusade at Angel Stadium coming up. And then I hope that you'll be praying for that event and that you'll bring somebody out who needs to hear the good news of Jesus Christ.